Yeah, hello. I'm just trying to make the part three of the selfhood thing. I said that I would um, do finish this the next day, but I uh, forgot to. And I'm doing it now. Also, man, because when my brothers are over, I have a habit of not getting anything done. And July 4th happened. So anyway, there isn't really much to add. Other than, um, the self is created, uh, by the community, by your environment. And you don't really create it yourself. You know, the collect collectivistic selfhood creation, the democracy would seem like the best of all systems because it would seem that democracy can actually know you know kind of what most people want can, even though there's still going to be disagreements and stuff it could still come pretty close to uh, what exactly the most desired uh, thing is for society as a whole because ourselves are kind of created collectively so uh, if, you do, if you do like Galeanism, then it, it, or collectivism, it isn't necessarily totalitarianism like I implied here. It could just be plain old democracy, which is still kind of totalitarian-ish. So, so, I mean, it still posits that there should be a monopoly of force and all that crap, and that uh, if the majority wants it, then it's okay and they can get it, even if it's some pretty nasty stuff. And there's class warfare, and it's all about, um, you know, who can use the violence of the state. But uh, that's a that's a topic for another video. I think I've already done videos similar to that vein. In that vein, that's why it seems like a uh, market anarchism is probably much better for the individualist type notion of the selfhood, of selfhood being created by ourselves choosing within the social context of those around us because you can't really know what is best for everyone and what everyone you know how one feels on things because there's no like collective self or collective will really so you, you sort of just have to l let people do their own things and uh, it seems to me that market anarchism is the one that leaves people alone the most because uh, uh, defense agencies their role is to simply protect people and, th and if they fuck up they'll go broke like in Robocop when there was a monopolistic defense agency and it did bad things it went broke now you say some might say Robocop may have been a refutation of market anarchy but it's only a refutation of monopoly like if there was many defense agencies they would have just taken over the role once the bad guys ran out of money but that's also a big topic for another video. And then that's... I think I covered the, everything in the past, the other two videos, because it was like 20 minutes almost. So that's really all to add, really. Uh, I, I, I'm still not 100% sure what is the correct... the correct stance on selfhood. As I mentioned earlier, with the whole free will thing, it seems like individualism, the individualist conception of self is only true if free will is true, and I still don't know where I stand on free will. But at least it appears that people create themselves because people are so different from each other. But uh, it seems like only the um, independent-minded create their own selves. Because it seems like most people do fit into collectivist mindset because they do appear to be just a default that the selves of who they are is just sort of the default of who's around them like I've had uh, conversations around my mom with when it seems like she believes things because everyone agrees that such and such is the case like with um, familial relations she uses the argument because he's the dad or she's the mom or you're the son not on that's just fallacy of tradition that's uh, it proves nothing at all it's fallacious thinking the most the most people think like that they can't get over uh, definitions of words so they get very circular thinking so it's circular fallacies uh, it, it seems to me that if you really 
purge yourself of fallacious thinking, then it'd be very difficult to not, you know, make yourself through your own rational faculty. It's only when you allow, you know, circular reasoning and arguments and tradition to poison your brain that you become a collective self, that yourself is just a product of society and whatnot. And uh, that's pretty much it.